Hey everyone, I'm Dan from Dan RH Drum Channel. Being a drummer since 1966, if there's one thing I always strive for, it's my sense of time. I want to be as solid as a rock. That means having a great pocket, especially with no speeding up when I take a fill. Most of the time, that means making it simple. And to do this, I found using a tool from my drummer's tool shed helps me attain that goal. And that, my friends, is an app called Live BPM. It's a great drummer's tool, which I always use at the gig or rehearsals. It can reside on an iPhone, an iPad, or Android products as well. The important thing to remember when using Live BPM is not to obsess on it. I personally use it on an old repurposed iPhone that I don't use anymore. And I use this on a cymbal stand I have mounted above my hi-hats when I play at a live gig. So on this stand I have a iPad which has my set list maker, it's called OnSong. And then I have my live BPM app on my iPhone. The holders for those devices will be in the description below with Amazon links. And now, on to the details of the app. This is from a developer's description. The Live BPM app is available at your favorite app store for a one-time purchase price of $3.99, and that's a fantastic price for what you get. The app was developed by Daniel Bach, so it's a temple monitoring tool for drummers, bands, and DJs. It detects music and beats via the microphone on the device that you're using and continuously displays the current tempo in beats per minute BPM. It's extremely easy to use. I've turned quite a few drummers on to live BPM. Here's a detailed description. This is a tool designed for professional use. Its well-tested beat detection engine guarantees trustworthiness. It can handle most genres. It produces the best results under the following conditions. The tempo's got to be constant or almost constant. And time signatures it handles well is 4-4 and 3-4 or multiples of those. If the music meets these conditions, live BPM will produce results accurate within 0.1 BPM. There's a tempo curve which shows the development of tempo over time. I'll show you what I'm talking about. On the app, here's my iPhone, down at the bottom, that's the tempo curve. It'll show over amount of time how your tempo goes, which means the line will be either be straight if it's perfect or squiggly if it's not perfect. Multiple zoom modes to show at least 2, 3, 5, 7, 10, 15, 20, or 30 minutes. It's more accessible and usually more accurate than other BPM counters that function through tapping. Usually these devices are actually taped to the drum head or have a really strong adhesive tape on the bottom of it. I tend to not like to put anything on my drum head other than a muffling gel occasionally. It's got a relatively low battery drain thanks to high performance code and efficient algorithms, but it's basically based on your device's battery health. If your battery drains quickly, make sure to use external power source. So using it as a musician, which I do on gigs, rehearsals, whenever I'm playing drums, I use it. I use it as an objective tempo reference like a metronome. It's actually got several advantages over a metronome. You're not tied to a click, so it's giving you more flexibility. It'll help you measure and improve your timekeeping skills. It identifies slowdowns and speed ups while practicing your instrument. So the controls are as follow. At the very top, there's a power button. This is for freezing the tempo curve and minimizing battery drain. Next down is the clear button. This clears the tempo curve so you can get rid of the evidence, if you know what I mean. And then the slider, it helps adjust the tempo, ranging from 60 to 200 beats per minute. Then it's got zoom buttons down at the bottom. So this will help you switch between zoom modes for the tempo curve between 2 and 30 minutes. Here's an example of me playing with the app. Notice my tempo is fluctuating on purpose, of course.
really cool thing that I found using Live EPM is discover how your favorite artists use tempo changes, either on purpose or not. One of my favorites to track is Honky Tonk Woman by The Stones. Don't get me wrong, I love The Stones and I love Charlie Watts' May Rest in Peace. But the tempo in Honky Tonk Woman starts at 108 and it goes all the way to 127 by the end of the song. Another song to check out is All Day Music by War. That song starts at 95 beats per minute and ends up at 115. Hopefully in this video you've learned about live BPM and how it can enhance your gigging experience. Like I said before, I use it at all my gigs and rehearsals, basically whenever I play. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button so you can get more tips and drum videos. Also, a like would be nice if you liked it. And make sure to check out my next video. Thanks, and happy drumming.